last time we just made sure that the Wiimote connected to the computer and it was receiving signal and we also set it so we can use the Wiimote as a keyboard or a mouse on startup with the uh, UN input in the gedit of the modules right so this time we're gonna set it to work with uh, Eliza Media Center and uh, we're gonna map the keys um, and a base, all the basic stuff for uh, to make it work with Eliza Media Center so what we need to do is um, if you don't have it from the last time uh, you can start from here UM input right you need this this is very important to our uh, procedures so after you have that um, you're gonna make a folder and uh, it, it can be anywhere okay it doesn't really matter but I like to put it in uh, the hidden Eliza media uh, folder and I just name it a uh, Wiimote as a new folder and I have these two files in here right these two files this file is a uh, uh, WN input Eliza this is basically where you map um, your keys your Wiimote keys so your up down left right AB all that you're gonna map it with uh, uh, the keys that works on Eliza media center so these are the keys for Eliza Media Center and this is for the Wiimote so uh, when we press it uh, that's how we're gonna navigate in Eliza Media Center GUI right so that's that now this is a script here okay uh, Eliza um, M player and this script all it does is uh, it's kinda like an on and off switch uh, on a TV if the TV is on, uh, you turn it off, and if the TV is off, you turn it on, and you use the same button, right? So that's what it's gonna do here. If Eliza Media Center is on, it's gonna turn off, and if Eliza's uh, Media Center is off, it will turn it on. So it's a toggle between on and off. And uh, with that one, I'll include the download link, and make sure you have this uh, set permission, okay? So you have to set permission to uh, execute. So go to properties and permission and allow executing. Now, uh, after you have all that, um, you have to run it uh, to connect it to your Wiimote. So in here in the terminal, just type in um, sudo um, wm input uh, dash w dash c space and right now all you gotta do is drag in your um, Eliza um, keys here right the WM input and this what it will do is um, make the Wiimote connect to uh, uh, the computer and it will use the Eliza uh, mapping the keys right so we're gonna hit enter and it's ask for our password so type in your password and now it will tell you to push 1 and 2 to discover so you push the 1 and 2 button on your Wiimote and it should say uh, some stock error or whatever but it is working don't worry it will say ready see? or some sort of uh, conf uh, confirmation that it is working and your Wiimote should stop blinking and it should work now if you push some buttons here um, let me open uh, Eliza Media Center, okay, with my, uh, you can see that it is working. Oh, it's taking so long. So now I'm just going to use my Wiimote, like right now, and it is working, so it's good. Uh, let me get off the full screen. You see, I can uh, I can uh, navigate to this, so this good is working. Now, what we want to do is um, next is uh, map the GNOME with uh, um, the on and off uh, toggle that we made, right? So to do that, we have to go to a uh, keyboard shortcut. So now in here you're gonna look for um, where it says launch a media player the, the default me media player is um, rhythm box right 
but that's okay we, we're gonna change that later so in here where it says disable or whatever click on that and now you wanna use the keys that you wanna use um, uh, I, I use home for this okay so you press the home button on your Wiimote right now and it should map it okay um, and that is uh, the equivalent of whatever you set into your um, Wiimote keys uh, in our script so th we just uh, set it with uh, the home key uh, or the home button in our remote and this will open the media player now by default when you press it it will open uh, rhythm box right but we want to change that also so next we gotta go is go into your prefer apps um, prefer applications and now we're gonna go to uh, media right and uh, it used to be on rhythm box but we're gonna go to custom and in custom you want to uh, point it to um, your Eliza uh, M player script that we made right over here right this script wherever you put the script you want to uh, point it to that so is that uh, our home folder uh, uh, our Eliza and our remote and then this path right so that is what we have over there over here right and that's all you gotta do and now by default if you press um, the home key right it's gonna turn on and if this is on and uh, you press it again it should turn off so we're gonna push it off and there you go it is working so that is how we uh, make uh, the toggle on and off and uh, how we set up the Wiimote to work with Eliza Media Center and the scripts uh, for this I'm gonna include it because I need it too you know so that is all uh, for this one